Are you looking for more robust data backup and restore features for HubSpot? Then this integration with SysCloud just might be that missing tool in your toolbox. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot does a lot of things really, really well, but some people find its data backup and restore features just a little bit lacking. Not every object in HubSpot has the capability to restore it. The ones that do can only go back 90 days, and if you ever need to restore a full backup, you have to contact HubSpot support, and you don't really see the data that they're going to restore until after that restoration is already done. So we're gonna show you how to level up those historical data controls with a tool from our friends at SysCloud. Now, they are a promotional partner for us, but I've seen their product in action, and let me tell you, I'm a fan. So let's show you how it works. All right, so here we are inside of SysCloud. Now, if you're just signing up, you don't have a SysCloud account yet, you can sign up for a free trial. They don't ask you for a credit card or anything, so it's a great way to test it out, make sure it's gonna work for you. If, when you first sign up for that free trial, they'll prompt you to create your first backup job. But if you already have a SysCloud account or you don't see that prompt for whatever reason, what you're gonna do is go to this Jobs tab and you're gonna click on Create a New Backup Job. You'll give it a name, we'll call ours HubSpot Hacks. Hit Next find HubSpot in this list. That's one of the great things about SysCloud is if you've got other tools you wanna to back up to, you can back them up all in the same spot as long as SysCloud has the integration. Today we're gonna to focus on HubSpot. You'll see I've already got it connected to my account, but your first time you'll see, it'll say not connected. You'll see a connect button here and you'll go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna pause here and show you a couple things that are great about this integration. So one of the things that's nice is just how many objects of HubSpot SysCloud will back up for you. So this is our full list here. We've got companies, deals, tickets, products, all those things you might expect, but some things you might not expect too. So workflows, any contact-based workflows, unfortunately they can't get access to those company-based or goal deal-based workflows, but any contact-based workflows, so like those nurturing, ones and things like that. You can back up your marketing emails, your blog posts, all those engagements that you have saved on contacts and companies, so tasks, notes, emails, all of that, the associations between all these objects, all of that will come over. There are some limitations, so make sure you're familiar with those. I already mentioned those company-based workflows, uh, things like CTAs, campaigns, so they can't get access to everything, but most of the things in your portal will be in there. Then once you uh, have a good understanding of the limitations, what it'll do, make sure it works, then you go ahead and hit connect and add accounts. If you're not already logged into HubSpot, it'll prompt you to do so. You do have to be a super admin in the HubSpot account that you wanna back up, but as long as that's the case, then you're good to go. You just find the account that you wanna back up, hit choose account, give it the permissions. and you're good to go. You may have to hit refresh on this list. Uh, sometimes I've noticed that uh, it takes a second, so hitting refresh just speeds that up. And then once you've got it connected, once it's on this list, you're good. You just hit this X in the top right and hit next. And then if you've got multiple accounts, you can select the scope, you can select the account you wanna back up, hit confirm. And once this is showing the accounts that you wanna back up, you just click on this start backup. Depends on the size of your HubSpot portal and how much data is in there in terms of how long this backup is gonna take. Our test portal only took about 20 minutes. If you've got a really large account with a lot of contacts, a lot of historical things in there, our test portal doesn't have much. It may take several hours for that first backup. So just kind of keep that in mind. So I'm gonna jump over to our SysCloud dashboard since we already have a backup of our test portal here. And this is the first thing I wanna show you is this dashboard. The first time you're in it, you may have to click on uh, this drop down and take it down to HubSpot, but then you're gonna see some analytics about all of your historical backups. So there's not gonna be a lot in there when you first get it set up, but as the days progress, you'll see more and more. So you'll see things like the current backup progress. So right away, you'll see how your first backup is doing, usage stats, uh, health reports and errors, if you've seen any errors, things like that. You can see every day there's been a backup. The backup will happen for you every day. There's also a way to do it manually, which I'll show you here in a minute. So it's some nice overall analytics for you on this dashboard. Now, one of the things that is really, really great about HubSpot, or excuse me, about SysCloud, is the level of control that it gives you and, and visibility that it gives you into the data that it backed up for you and how 
granular you can get about what data you want to put back into your system. So there's all kinds of reasons to have backups, right? You may need to have a longer backup than 90 days for compliance reasons, and you want to make sure that there's nothing that can happen to, to delete that data. Maybe you have a user accidentally delete some data. Maybe you have a, an import go awry and a bunch of things get overwritten. Uh, or maybe there's an integration that the error that happens and, and you miss some data or data gets overwritten. Um, so there's all kinds of reasons why having Having a backup and, and restore capabilities are really uh, helpful for HubSpot or, or really any cloud-based uh, CRM, right? So as we go in here, uh, you'll be able to see all of the data that you had backed up in your archive section. So you can see we've got this HubSpot demo account. If you've got multiple accounts, you'll see them all here. Again, you may have to select this HubSpot dropdown that first time. And as we go in here, we can actually see all of the data that's been backed up. So if you want to do a restore of everything that SysCloud has backed up for you, then all you have to do is select on this box here to select all of the objects and hit restore. This is automatically gonna say restore everything from the last time we did a backup. But let's say I wanna restore something from a backup I did two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago. SysCloud will actually store the data that you want uh, backed up for as long as you have a SysCloud account. You can refine that if you don't wanna store it for, if you only restore it for a year or 150 days or whatever you wanna do, you can do that. But by default, it's gonna store it for as long as you have an account, which is an awesome feature. Uh, but I'm gonna go in here and select it. I only have an update from today, or a backup from today, so it doesn't give me the capability to go back, but if I had a backup from June 4th or anything like that, I could select that previous backup, hit apply, and I'm gonna be restoring from that snapshot rather than just the last update. You have this option to overwrite records, so your options are either to overwrite everything or it will actually intelligently say, okay, this blog post is already in the portal, so I'm not gonna overwrite it with my backup. So that's a great way to restore just records that are missing or just records that got accidentally deleted uh, is by leaving this unchecked. You can leave a comment here so that you can go back into your logs and see kind of what this backup or what this restoration was about, and then you just click restore. You may also notice when I clicked on this, we've got export options. So that's another feature inside of SysCloud. You can export anything that you can back up from HubSpot. You can also export into a CSV. So if you struggle to find ways to export objects inside of HubSpot, or if you wanna uh, uh, export multiple objects of different types, just with one click of a button, you can do that with this SysCloud integration. But you can get much more granular than just restoring or exporting everything, right? So everything in here is clickable. So if I wanna go into my blog post, I can do that. But let's jump into contacts. I can search for any contacts. Uh, and once I find the contact that I want, I can also open up this contact and I can actually see information about what HubSpot has or what SysCloud has backed up for us in this contact. If I wanna see what it has backed up on a different date rather than this last backup, I can again go in here and select a historic uh, restore point, backup point. So I can see some default properties here. I can click view all properties and see everything about that contact. I can see the associations with that contact. So it's associated to a company, a deal, a ticket, a custom object. I can see all of that here. And they're also clickable. So I can go in there and see their records, much the same way that you can do that inside of HubSpot. And then this particular contact doesn't have any engagements tracked to it in our demo portal. But if it did, I could also see any task note, emails, calls, meetings, et cetera, uh, that I have associated with that contact, company, deal, any object that I can associate those to. And I could restore just a single email or just a single meeting, or I could restore them all. So as you can see, very granular in terms of what you can see in here and making sure that you're restoring the data into your HubSpot portal that you really want to see. The last thing that I'll show you here, I mentioned that, uh, that it's gonna back up for you every day, uh, but you can also do a custom backup or a point in time. So if you know you've got a new integration you're setting up or something you're testing, maybe you're rolling something out from a sandbox or um, you've got a big import that you want to do and you want to make sure that you've got a restore point before you do that just in case anything gets messed up. You can do that as well. We'll back all the way up into archives 
select the account we want to do that for hit back up now and it'll create a restore point right at that time. So as you can see, extremely easy tool to use to really get a lot more control over how your HubSpot data is backed up and how you can restore it. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we look forward to seeing you next time.